Hey everyone, this is Holly and you know I get this question a lot with regards to how you can display or present your um, senior portrait magazine. Um, so I kind of wanted to show you what I do. Um, you could have it printed and if you read the description in the store it states that you could have these printed as booklets in low runs at copycraft.com and I'm sure there are other local printers that could probably help you with that as well. It's just something that you might want to research but that's who I would probably use for a print version of it. Now for me, um, online is probably a better way to do it. Um, when you buy this magazine, and I'm going to show you what my spreads look like. Um, this is fine. This is kind of like what it would look like. Um, these images are by Cody Diane Photography. Beautiful work she does here. Pretty much every magazine that you're going to see is going to be laid out in page layout software like InDesign by Adobe. But because so many people don't have that in the industry, in, in the photography industry, I've laid it out in Photoshop, which just is kind of unconventional, but you know, we do what we have to do so more people can use it. Um, and usually when I'm laying it out in InDesign, um, it's the whole book is one, as opposed to individual pages or spreads. And so typically a book is gonna start, you know, our magazine will start on the right hand side, one page, right hand side, and everything else are facing pages. And then the last page always ends on the left hand side. Hence the cover, the inside pages are a spread, the last page on the left is a single page. So when you're putting this together, say you've opened up a spread and you have everything ready to go and you want to create a full PDF of it. Now I'm sure there are other ways you could do this. This is how I do it so it's what works for me. Um, I've already have all these guides laid in for you so um, the first thing you would do is flatten it. And what I would do before I did anything here is I would save it as a JPEG file or save it as another file. So I'm going to close that because I've already done that. Um, that way I don't have to, um, you know, worry about losing my file. Now as you can see here from the original, I've already gone ahead and cropped it. Let's open that back up one more time. So my original, um, these are the crop marks. Now the crop marks are going to be your outer blue lines. You'll see I have another one inside. That's just my guide to keep everything not on the edge of the actual um, layout. So these are what you call bleeds. So if you do have these printed at Copycraft, they're going to be able to bleed off the page. So if I've flattened it and saved it, what I can do now is crop it. And so what I do is come in here with my cursor on this far edge where that guide starts over here and I bring it all the way like that. And what I can do is go to image crop. And now I've cropped it to a full spread. Okay, so that's one way you could crop everything and you could load up your pages that way. But if you want your PDF to look like single pages flipping as opposed to a big spread flipping across the page, you're gonna have to create individual pages. Um, so what I would do at the next stage is because this is my inside margin is I'm going to have to come in and crop to there so I can cut off that bleed. So basically if my pages were flipping that there's enough um, page there to um, compensate for where that crease of your book would be. So I would have to come in here and go crop and then save this as a page of its own. So let's just call it since this is pages six and seven, let's just call it page six. And I'm sorry if my dogs start making funny noises over here. And I'm just going to hit undo and come over and crop this side. Image crop, file, save as a JPEG. And I'm going to do this one as page, um, what we, page seven. So, so now I have um, two single pages. Okay. All right. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, you could save each of these as PDFs instead of a JPEG, which would work fine. Um, I'm just going to open up this, the cover so I can show you how it flips. So what I would do is I could come in and go and file save as PDF. And like I said, there's probably about a bajillion ways you could do this. So I'm going to save it as cover PDF, save, oh, I, I see skip all that stuff and then um, I'm going to come in here and open up my two single pages so that I can um, save those as PDFs 
I'm just, I'm really one of those people who does a lot of extra saves so that I can always go back if I mess up. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to close that one and file, save as, and save this one as a PDF. And once I've cropped all my pages and saved them as PDFs, I can combine them in Acrobat. Now, if you had InDesign, you wouldn't have to do any of this stuff. It's pretty simple. Um, so what I need to do now is open up my PDF. So, I, so I'm going to open up the first page, and it's going to open up an Acrobat for me. And I'm going to view, zoom, um, let's just do um, fit visible. Oops, sorry. Hello. There we go. Um, so there's my first page. And in Acrobat, now I'm using the latest version, so some of this may look a little bit different. When I click on my tools tab up here, I have the option to come in here under insert pages. So my first one I'm going to do is go insert from file. And let's... Um, look where I may have saved all of that. Um, give me a second to locate it because I did not have that. Um, I'm going to do my second page. So you would want to do these in order. I'm going to do my second page and my third page because I'm already, I've already got this. But if you go in and do this, you could do this. Um, and I'm going to say insert after the last page. And I'm going to hit insert. Now, it actually inserted them backwards, so I'm going to show you how to fix that. View, um, page display, I have two page view. Sometimes it says continuous, so you have to look at that to see. Like I said, this is a new version, so it could be different in what you're seeing. But for now, I have three pages, and now when I flip to my second page, my spreads are there. Now, obviously, my pages are in the wrong spot. Oh, okay. All right, so over here is the page thumbnails. This is where you can flip it. I'm sorry, everybody, this is crazy. Okay, so I've now I've gone under page thumbnails. I've moved my pages in the order that they need to be. You sometimes you can go up under here to to see your window, see the view. Um, again, every version is going to be a little bit different. Um, so once I've gone through and added all my pages, I could save as one PDF. And I could just call it Senior Magazine 2, save. And a lot of times, once I'm all done, I'll come into my final PDF of it. And um, I will, or my final PDF of the magazine here. And I will right click on it and go to Get Info. And under Get Info, I'm going to look at the size of it. Now, because these are going to be viewed on screen, I can reduce the size a little bit so it's not so big. I mean, 28, 28 megs is not too bad, but imagine once you've had all those pages added to it. So once you've saved it as a PDF, you can um, downsize it. So I save as a reduced sized PDF, and I just bring it down to about Acrobat 6. And I say, OK. I save over the file, replace, and let it do its thing so that the file size is going to shrink down a little bit for what I want to do online. Um, I'm not sure how, you know, I mean, if you're going to email this, you don't want it to be really, really big. Um, so now when I right click it, 946K, of course, if I open it, you want to open it and look at it and make sure it looks good. Um, that you're not going to go, that has lost so much quality. And each individual page looks pretty good. Um, again, if I wanted to, um, flip through pages, like spreads, I could, and everything would look fine. Okay, so now that my whole PDF is done, what I need to do is come up under, the website is called issue.com, I-S-S-U-U.com. And so I'm here, and I need to log in first. And my library is all here. So what I need to do is um, upload. So up here to the right, you'll hit upload. And the first thing I do is upload a file. So I'm going to look for my file. And where I saved it, my PDF. And then I'm going to come in here and put a title. A description for Holly McCake Senior Portraits. A web name. You can change this, but this will show you what it's going to look like on screen. 
keywords, you're going to have to put at least three, I believe, that they require from you. So I would probably do photography, um, seniors, um, business, I don't know, art, whatever you want to put. Info link, if you need to get people to go to your website, you could do that. So I'm just going to put two pair of designs. Um, the document type, it's going to be a magazine for this, whatever you want it to be. Child safe, yes, publish date, leave alone. Um, they will make you do this, your target audience. I always just say um, business and marketing. You can do creative language, choose your language, choose your, your area. I try to stick with North America just because I'm not targeting anybody outside of the US. Media, if you want to put music, you could click here and do that. I don't recommend that. Um, publishing options, if you want to make it private, you could do a private um, link here and sharing options and I usually turn off comments and ratings because I don't want anything to distract from my client seeing something they're supposed to see. I do allow them to download in case they want to print it and then I would hit upload. Now what it's going to do is go through and upload your file um, and when it's all done you, you can you can tell it to notify you when it's all done. Um, we'll just come back to it as soon as it said read the description you can learn how to publish it to um, a PDF file this way um, or you can also um, send it to print all right that's it